Hi guys and welcome to my guide on the rune span. A timeline will be in the description so you can skip to the information you want to see. And this guide is useful to everyone in any level range. So without further ado, let's begin. The portal to the rune span is located within the upper floors of the Wizard's Tower south of Draenor Village. The best way to get there is to use the right click teleport option on the Wicked Hood, which you can get for free from Tam McGruber in Berthorpe, who is located just east of the lodestone there and is stood outside the rune crafting shop. When you first enter the rune span you'll be given the option to do a tutorial. I'd strongly recommend doing this because it'll give you a much better idea of how to train properly. The basic mechanics of the rune span which you'll learn in the tutorial are as follows. You can grab free rune essence from floating essence which will be dotted around the rune span. With this rune essence you can begin siphoning from creatures of various types such as air wrestlings which provide you with runes of that type and extra rune essence if you siphon from the creature until it's completely depleted. Nodes, which are concentrated deposits of energy, do not give extra rune essence when you deplete them, but they will last a lot longer than the creatures and they give better experience for siphoning them. So these nodes are what you will be wanting to focus on in order to get the best experience. The rune span is made up of three floors, and on each floor there's a lot of islands, and to travel between them you'll need to use platforms which require specific runes and level requirements in order to use them. However, you won't be charged any runes for travelling from a smaller island to a bigger one, which is in place to prevent you from becoming stranded. Occasionally you'll see a message pop up in your chat box that says that a wizard is calling you. When this happens, try and find a wizard dressed in yellow robes, talk to him and he'll ask you for 10 of a specific type of rune. You can talk to wizards dressed in blue robes who can point you in the direction of a yellow wizard for a short amount of time to help you find them. If you're a free to play player and your rune crafting level is 59 or lower, give the wizard the highest level rune that you have as opposed to the one he asks for as it'll give you more experience, otherwise if you're 60 or higher and free to play, then give the wizard the rune that he specifically asks for. Likewise if you're a member and you're 76 rune crafting or lower, give the wizard the highest level rune available to you, otherwise if you're 77 or higher then give him the rune that he asks for. Don't ask me why it's like this, that's just the way it is. On a rare occasion the rune sphere will appear, which can appear on any floor and will start off as a soul rune type and then will slowly degrade through blood, deaths, laws, etc. until it reaches air runes. When you siphon from the sphere you get experience as well as rune dust for each successful siphon. The rune dust is worth 10 rune crafting XP each, which can be turned in when the rune sphere eventually degrades into a ball of energy. So for example if you have 500 dust when the rune sphere degrades, you'll receive 5000 experience for turning them in. You can only hand in rune dust once per day and it's capped at 1000 dust per day. It's generally believed that the rune sphere is not worthwhile even bothering to do, so just don't do it unless you really want to. On screen now is a graph that I've created to show estimated minimum XP rates based on a 5 minute test of each creature at an appropriate level range. The number in brackets next to each type shows the level at which it was tested. The test was simply standing still siphoning one creature and waiting for it to respawn, which isn't what you'd actually do for the best training. This isn't accurate so take it for what it is, which is a very rough estimate. For levels 1 through 33 you'll be on the lowest floor of the rune span. I'd simply recommend siphoning cyclones and mind storms all the way to 33, as there's always lots of these nodes located on the island you spawn on. This alone rakes in about 20 to 30k XP per hour, so you should be level 33 within literally an hour or two, if not less than that. Once you're level 33 you can either stay on the first floor for a while longer, siphoning higher level nodes, or you can head up to the second floor by heading to the island just west of Wizard Phoenix and climbing up the Vine Ladder. For the second and third floor the general key to training is to siphon from a relatively high level creature whilst focusing on finding high level nodes around you. You should generally hang around a few islands which provide level appropriate creatures and nodes. What you shouldn't do is go around hunting only for specific nodes because this could take a while and the time you spend running around could be spent on siphoning a creature. Always look out for blue or yellow wizards nearby as well as it's usually worth it to go after these but if you can't see any nearby then don't bother as it could take longer than necessary to find them which could waste time and valuable XP. And circled on screen now are the islands on each floor that you could potentially hang around to find the best nodes for your level.
One other little tip is that if you're a high level and you use the rune span portal to the high level entrance, it will take you to the middle floor. You can then talk to Wizard Phoenix and ask him for some runes in exchange for points. He'll give you 10 of each rune that you can make and the cost of this increases with each rune you can make, going up to 177 points for all runes including soul runes at level 90. Doing this will just allow you to get around more easily when returning from another activity such as another skill. And that's it for this guide. If it helps then give us a like and subscribe. If I've got anything wrong during this guide then leave a comment and I'll make sure to try and correct it. Otherwise I'll see you in the next video.